What's up, guys? This is Skate Tutors, and this is how to put on skate rails, guys. All right, there's a couple tools you need when putting on skate rails. Obviously, you need skate rails, and these are Peralta, Pal Peralta skate rails. And these ones, these skate rails are actually a little higher than other skate rails, apparently. And also, you need a ruler or straight line, an object that is straight. Also, sandpaper. And of course, a screwdriver, Phillips head. All right, one more thing. Don't forget your skate stickers or you can use tape. Doesn't really matter. And two other things you're gonna need are the Phillips head screws that come with the skate rails and a erasable marker. Why you need a erasable marker? Well, to mark where your rails go once you get them lined up. And this is really crucial, huge, crazy important. And this is where you have to kind of become one with your skateboard. And you're like, what does that mean? And you're like, well, you gotta kind of sit here and figure out where you want your rails because you want them to be even. Wherever you decide if you want them to be close to the edge, an inch closer in, or in the middle, whatever you decide. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with the rails, but typically they're usually a half inch from the outside of the board or an inch. Since Andy's board is so big, we're gonna do about an inch. And basically what I did was after a long time of trying to figure out where I wanna place this, I marked it. But you wanna take your ruler here, and this is where it's important because you wanna like Use your ruler to make sure, because your truck's going to be sitting here and your wheels are going to be biting about right here and here. So you want to put your ruler here to make sure your wheels aren't going to hit the rail from this space to here. That's really important. So I kind of just sit here, kind of like, oh my gosh, do I want it here? Do I want it here? And then I'm like, oh, that looks good, like right there. And I'm like, oh, it's not going to hit the wheels because, I mean, I skated this board, the wheel bites right here. So look, it's passing it. It's not going to hit it. And the end of the trucks are from this bolt to this bolt. So the wheels aren't going to hit it because the rail is before the trucks. So you want it to be even right here. And you want it to be even on this side. And then once you get once you get it even, you take your erasable marker, make a line right there, and make a line right here. It just takes a while to get it lined up. But once you take a while, like maybe 20 minutes, whatever, 10 minutes, just try to get it straight. You want this to be straight. I mean, I want it to be straight. You can do whatever you want. You can bend them too bow them out. So I made two marks like that. So I made a mark like that. And I made a mark like that. Great. We'll get to the next step. Great. And then I went to the other one. And after I took my ruler and I just kind of go right over top of the board. And that looked good there. Looks like it's gonna pass the wheel bite on that side, which is great. Go on this side, line it up with the holes. And I can see it is not gonna hit the wheel bite. And my wheel bite is right there, you actually can see it. Because I skated this board today one time, and that was pretty fun. You line that up. I mean, this takes longer than it takes me right now because I actually lined it up already. So I already have the marks, but just make sure you have it right and straight. Make your marks. This might take more time, but more time you get to know, 
what your skateboard's all about. So I'm looking at this right here. And I'm looking at that. So that looks pretty good to me. Next step is get a skate sticker or you can use tape. I'm gonna use this, this sticker. Cause I don't really care about it that much. And then I'm gonna cut it. Uh, poor skate sticker. So I'm gonna cut it into four pieces. So I could use it like tape. And then you unpeel the sticker. First sticker. And don't be afraid to double check the measurements on this one. Or realign it, whatever you have to do. Just kind of stick the sticker on. Once you got it, you got your marks there. Just line it up with your marks. And use the sticker to help support. To keep it stuck on there. That's why I cut the other the sticker up in the force because we're using the other piece to come over here and you always can pull up the sticker you need to readjust the sticker and then you move on to the other sticker look where your marks are looks like it's good right there and just get that sticker nice wrapped around the skate rail so it's securely on there oh looks like i need to readjust this one a little bit and it kind of moves a little bit too so it's like that first screw we'll get it we'll go right here and we'll get that started all right we got it securely stuck down with our stickers now we're going to open our screws and don't lose these screws because then you'll be in trouble and i'm getting excited now because i've never done this before believe it or not even though i sound like an expert believe it or not so you take your first screw and you got it lined up, so you know you don't have any wheel bite here or here. All right, great. Now we're gonna transition to the floor. All right, we're down here now on the floor, so it's really important not to lose the screws. So you know what I did? I put them in a crazy little camera lens cover that I have. So find something like this so you don't lose the screws because the screws are very important because these screws are meant to drive in the wood with your handheld handy dandy Phillips head screwdriver. So we're now here on the ground. We're gonna get to the first one right here. All right, so we get to the first one. So it's important to know you wanna drive it down with a lot of pressure at first, but once it starts going into the wood, then it's less pressure for the screw to go in. And also, don't do the middle one first. Don't do the middle one first. Do the bottom one first or the top one first. I'm going to do the bottom one first and I'll work my way down to this screw and then the middle one and then this one and then to that one. Because if you do it from the this one and then that one, it can bow. This is the best way to do it, I heard makes it most secure way to do it. So, over top of it, make sure it's lined up one last time because this is the last time I can look at it. And the first screw is very important. This is very important. Kind of hold the board. I'm use my knee. Start screwing that baby in. Feel it going in. Really excited. It's going in. 
All right, I'm not gonna tighten it completely. And then you move on to the next screw, but also you guys remember, it's very important not, don't strip the screw. Don't do it too hard or overturn at the end where you're gonna strip, strip the screw. Uh, one uh, good way to know you're not tightening it too much is you can stick a piece of paper underneath of it. Move on to the next screw over top of it. Get some good pressure on that. Start driving that screw into the wood. And you'll feel it grab. And you're like, wow, that's so cool. Drilling a screw into the bottom of my skateboard. All right, cool. Grab the next screw. Sweet, I might fast forward this part. Try to do it fast now. Looks like it's staying straight. That's getting a little weird. Pressure. Drive in. So you want to do it about three quarters of the way in. So what's when it feels like it's getting tight? Stop. Pressure at first. I'll show you in a second why. Why we're not going to go all the way in. Three quarters of the way in. Last one. My marks are there. It looks like we're getting the right spot. Driving it in. Gotta hold it with your fingers too. All right. We got this one screwed in and now we're moving on to the next rail. This is really important though because you wanna make sure this rail is almost at the same spot as this rail, but on the opposite side. So you take your handy dandy ruler and you go to your mark from our erasable pen, I mean our erasable marker, and we line it up with the mark that we made. That's why it was important to mark it with the erasable marker. Line it up there, take the ruler, looks like it's right on the bat. Check that out. All right. So we're gonna take our sticker, unpeel that, put it on our mark. Always remeasure so you know it's exactly where the other rail is. On our marks. Nice and sturdy. It's nice there. Take your other sticker. And bring it right here. Make sure it's lined up to your mark. It's the coolest part about using stickers over tape because they're a lot easier to peel up. And it looks pretty close to me. I mean, that looks close here. That's great. Looks like it's away from my wheel bite. And looks like it's pretty close there. Grab the your first screw for the second rail. And the reason that we start from the top and go down a line is because it keeps the rail from rattling, from getting loose. It's the most durable way. It's the most sturdy way to do it. All right, so you, we got it on our marks. We got it on our stickers. We get that first screw in there, get over top of it. Make sure it's not moving, make sure it's not moving from your mark. Start pressing down. All 
All right. Drive it into the board. Drive it into the board. Move on to the next screw. Go over top. Press down. Make sure it's not moving. Drive into the board. Three quarters of the way down. Three fourths of the way down. Move on to the next one. Screw that in, make sure it's not moving up top. It's a little tight, then stop. We want the next one. Do this to make sure you're getting to the top the most sturdy way. All right, make sure you guys smash like if you're getting value out of this video. If you have any comments about, oh, make sure you. If you have any comments about this video, comment below. Or about rails, about skating. Last one. Pressure. Drive that screw in. Getting excited. Still got some work ahead. Then the, who thought skating could be so much work? Make sure they're all three fourths of the way tightened. You take your ruler. Look at that. Looks perfect to me. Man, look at that. It looks great to me. And then you take. Actually, you can get take the stickers off. Because remember about the sandpaper I told you. You're not even gonna need the stickers anymore. So you take the stickers off. Take the stickers off. And we're gonna take the rail back off. Unscrew the screws. One screw. Got our little dish. Don't strip the screws. All right, that's not coming out completely. Well, I'll do this one then. <laughs> Next one. We'll get it out. I'm a maintenance worker. Don't worry. I'm a limo driver. Go to the last one. Undo it. The coolest part about this is... Take it off. Wow. Don't lose your screws. I'm going to put that aside. I'm just going to leave them screws in it. The other ones in my little dish. And then check that out. You can see there's actually a little, almost like sawdust from the sc screwing in of the screws. So, the coolest thing right now, take our uh, sandpaper, get rid of that Get rid of that dust. Sand this baby down. Sand these babies down. Don't have to worry about the picture. We won't be seeing the picture anymore. It's this part's covered with the rail. Sand them down. All right, cool. And then don't lose your screws. Take the screws out. Try to get that dust out of there. All right. Take your, look at that. Just line it up. And then you got your marks still there. Oh, well, not really, but you just line it up your holes now. 
and that gets rid of all that sawdust gives it a lot cleaner of a hole just line it up with the holes it's a little trickier than I thought just make sure it's lined up you can always try to line up the last hole also it should just go in nice and easy goes right in just make sure you're covering all the other holes and basically what this does is it cleans out all that sawdust that's gonna get stuck in there and it gives your screws a nice little fresh hole to go right in so it looks like we got it all lined up and I'm gonna go back to the first one and I'm gonna tighten it but, oh but not too tight that was good enough move on to the next one tighten that one not totally tight because as you skate it you might have to retighten it tighten it tighten it till you you can tighten it more but tighten it to the point where it gets tight but not past that point because you don't want to over tighten it tighten that one oh got tight and stop move to the last one and you got the clean holes and that baby's on there and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one all right now we're gonna do the other one and this is why we only screwed them down three-fourths of the way so we come back unscrew it and clean out the nasty um, sawdust that we all love whatever you want to call it and this is the first time I've ever done this and I want you to smash like and comment on the video and also subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be shredding this thing I was skating today landed a tray flip and I will be uploading that video on my Instagram or something YouTube YouTube short possibly first tray flip on this thing how to get it on film and let me tell you this thing is a beast this board is a 9.1 something which is like but yeah undo that don't lose the screws take that out yeah I'll just leave yeah that's all right so you can see the spit just get rid of it try to get out of the holes grab your sandpaper sand that down sand the holes down nice sand them down just get nice and clean right well, screw one. And these things are really tough plastic. I didn't realize how tough plastic these, hard of plastic these things are, but hey, skating's popular now, it's in the Olympics. And I'm stoked by the way on that, and I'm gonna have a lot of stuff coming up on skateboarding being in the Olympics. So when, sometimes taking them out after screwing them in, they don't want to come out. All right, you line it up. You just kind of line up the holes. I look underneath of it. I kind of do this. Line the tip of the screw with the hole. As I'm turning it, the rail over to screw it in. All right, now I just tighten it. Make sure I got the other ones lined up. Make sure I line it up the last one. Looks good there. Looks good. Tighten her up. Usually just get them all snug and then I go back and then re-tighten them. Ooh. 
so I now have the right holes, but you'll know if you have the wrong holes when you screw it back on because you'll have to have pressure to get it in, like we talked about. The last one. And then you just tighten them up to the point where they get tight. And you want to tighten them a little bit more, but don't completely tighten them. Oh, you don't want to strip it. And check it out. I got rails on my new Andy Anderson skateboard. Make sure you guys smash like, subscribe for more videos. Make sure you comment if you have any questions about how to put on rails. They're nice and sturdy on there. Alright guys, we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. And then if you want to watch more videos, click on one of the boxes. Have a good one. Take it easy.